No surprise here out of Washington, D.C., where Patrick Ewing is out at Georgetown after six seasons. Hoyas were eliminated in the first round of the Big Ten, a uh, Big East tournament, rather, on Wednesday. Six seasons for Patrick Ewing, and they won 13 games over the past two seasons. Again, this was not uh, a surprise here. The, the breaking news here is a sort of just an official way to part ways here with Patrick Ewing. At one point, they lost 29 straight Big East games. Uh, Ewing went 75 and 109 during his time at the Hoyas. Did lead the program to the Big East tournament title in 2021, but they part ways after six seasons. All right, let's welcome in former NBA coach of the year, also coached at Alabama, Avery Johnson. Avery, this is not really a surprise here. Georgetown parting ways with Patrick Ewing. What did this signal here for Georgetown in the future? Yeah, Georgetown is hitting the reset button. Unfortunately for Patrick Ewing at his alma mater, um, he wanted to make this work. But uh, unfortunately, you know, just didn't get the job done uh, for whatever reason. Uh, he had a lot of transfers. Uh, Matt McClung was one that left the program after Patrick Ewing signed him um, out of high school and went to Texas Tech. He had other transfers that left that were critical to his rotation, whether they started or whether they were part of uh, the bench coalition. So uh, Patrick Ewing, unfortunately, couldn't retain his players, especially the really top-level players that he recruited. Uh, and then the byproduct of that is, you know, he lost a, a lot of games and lost too many games. Unfortunately, that at his alma mater where he tried to really restore the pride of big John Thompson uh, at, at a university that he dearly loves. Yeah, I mean, this this is a program that that really is one of the better basketball programs in the country, but they have fallen on lean times. They were hoping Patrick Ewing could help flip the switch after that. John Thompson came in. Uh, he was good, got them to the tournament multiple times. Uh, but this is really a chance here for this program to get it right. And Avery, we're hearing some names in terms of candidates. Uh, Rick Pitino, of course, you know about him. He's now at Iona. Uh, Ed Cooley at Providence. And then a name that's sort of come out as well is Micah Shrewsbury at Penn State. Uh, when you hear those three names, what do you think about a possible fit there in Georgetown? Well, all of those guys are really outstanding coaches. Um, I've recruited against a lot of those guys when I was coaching uh, at Alabama. But here, here's the deal. Let me give you some other names, Hakeem. Uh, Kellen Sampson uh, uh, at the University of Houston. Kelvin Sampson's son. Even though he's the coaching waiting, what an outstanding job he's did at, at Houston, assisting his dad. He's learned from the best. This program has really been elite for the last couple of years. They're going to be a number one seed. If you want to go with a nine, potential nine uh, NCAA tournament team, look at a guy like Ron Hunter at Tulane. You can look at a guy like a Jerry Stackhouse at Vanderbilt, not at really a basketball school, and he's really gotten that program off life support. You can look at an Eric Musselman at Arkansas, who's done an amazing job back-to-back -back elite eights and a guy that dominates social media. He's outstanding with getting transfers. So those are some other names that you can add to the mix. Avery, when you look at Patrick Ewing, right? I mean, he was trying to restore uh, all, all the things that were so good at Georgetown when he played and after him. Is this a situation where he walks away from the game or do you see him working his way back? Because this was an awesome opportunity for him to go to his alma mater, to play and coach uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a city where they loved him. And of course, when, when, he was at, when he was with the Knicks, you know, at Madison Square Garden in the Big East Tournament, all of the, all those memories. But now it's a, a path for him at this point. Now you've got to work your way back. Is there a path back for him to major college basketball? There's a path back. Because the guys similar been in similar situations, they found a way back. So why can't Patrick Ewing, if people think he failed in his first coaching job, there are other coaches that are on their fourth and fifth head coaching job that have found their way back. Now maybe Patrick has to go back and maybe be an associate head coach with a program, but why can't he find his way back? Actually, some coaches have even lasted longer than six years with doing less in the past. Uh, so again, he can find his way back. He can get a second chance. He's been primarily an NBA coach his entire career. 
the coach, the college coaching game is different. I'm sure if I were to take another college coaching job, things that I learned on my first go around, uh, the second time around, they're going to be different. So give him a chance to learn the different competencies of what happens on the collegiate basketball circuit. And I'm sure if Patrick Ewing gets another opportunity, maybe not on a power five level, maybe it's a mid-major level. Uh, he's going to do an outstanding job because of the, the agony of defeat and, you know, the thrill of victory that he experienced and during his time at Georgetown. Yeah, tough way to go out, but sometimes, unfortunately, it ends this way with a with an with a alma mater a le at your alma mater. You become a legend there, and then you come back, and then there's a situation, right? You can lead them to the promised land, or it, they're going to run you out of town if you don't win. And the latter, unfortunately, and, happened for Patrick Ewing. And you have situations. Anthony Grant's coach at his alma mater at Dayton, doing a really good job. Jawan Howard. You know, some people may say it's mixed reviews. Joanne Howell's done an outstanding uh, job at Michigan. So there are examples of guys around college basketball that have returned to their alma mater and they're doing an outstanding job, especially if given the appropriate amount of time to succeed. Yeah, I hope this is not the end for Patrick Ewing. Perhaps he uh, returns maybe to the Big East one day and works his way back. One of the all-time greats in college basketball and NBA, of course. Avery Johnson, appreciate the insight here on CBS Sports HQ. Thanks. On his watch, the Hoyas went 75 and 109 with only one NCAA tournament appearance in 2021 when they won the Big East tournament. Last season, the Hoyas became the first team in the history of the Big East to finish a regular season 0 and 19 in conference play. This year, they went 2 and 18 in the league, 7 and 25 overall. As a player for Georgetown, the Hoyas went 121 and 23. Georgetown made the national championship game in 82, 84, and 1985. But the news here on this day, Patrick Ewing out as Georgetown head coach. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.